Greetings and salutations. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. If this is your second time joining me, because I only have two videos right now, welcome back. <laughs> so remember when I was talking about being 190 pounds and that maybe this week I would start seeing the 180s? Well, guess what? Pow! There it is, 189.4, yay! Now technically, I did weigh 188.8 on Saturday, so it has gone up, which is why I put the red arrow. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with my new room. I know it's kind of crazy. It's kind of attractive. Some places it looks good. Some places it looks freaky. And altogether, it kind of looks a little odd, but then again, so do I. So, hey, this is my space. I'm not too worried about it being up because I weighed myself at 7 a.m. today, which is an ungodly hour for anybody to be weighing themselves. For all of you that have to get up around that time, my condolences. I am a night owl. I usually am going to bed around 2 a.m., 4 a.m., so I usually don't get up until like noon, 2 p.m. That will make the weight fluctuate. That's not a problem. I don't see a lot of YouTubes talking about their weight and when it goes up and when it goes down. You can let me know if you like that. I wanted it to be a different change, so there you go. Now back to the topic, which is how I'm losing the weight. I am losing my, the weight with what I call a modified fasting. Well, not what I call, what anybody would call. I think it's different because intermittent fasting is when you like do like a certain period of time and then you eat for a certain period of time. Like people will go 14 hours of not eating and then they'll eat for eight hours and then wait 14 hours. You could starve yourself for 24 hours and then eat for 24 hours and go back and forth. That's kind of what I'm doing, but mine is called the Every Other Day Diet and it's based off of a book that I read by Kristen Verity and Bill Gottlieb. There you go. By the way, this is not sponsored, so I'm just telling you what I'm basing the diet on. And if you're interested in purchasing this and reading it for yourself, you can. I, I think it's relatively cheap on um, Amazon, which is where I got it. What does it break down to? What am I doing? The every other day diet goes like this. One day you do like a fasting day, which is 500 calories, no more. And then the other day you can technically eat as much as you want all day. Now, I've modified that. In this book, uh, Dr. Verity says you can eat whatever you want on your feasting days. I really wish that was the case, but obviously she did not know what I'm capable of eating in a feasting day, especially since I do a lot of fast food. And I, I do 500 calories on my diet days. And then on my feast days, I try to limit myself to about 2,000 calories, which is still, that's still pretty awesome. That's what I do. I'm not really sure if I should be breaking this down more for you. The book says right there, four weeks, 12 pounds, two sizes. Did that happen to me? No, it did not. I lost about six pounds in the first week, uh, in the first four weeks. And then the four weeks after that, I thought I lost like maybe one or two pounds. And then the following week, I lost about six pounds. And it's kind of gone up and down, but I've also been kind of checking out what works and what doesn't work. This is one of the best diets that I have ever been on. Just to give you a little background of what I have done in the past as far as dieting goes, since I have done just about everything but Weight Watchers, I have done the Nutrisystem, I have done Jenny Craig, I have done Atkins, I have done the protein shakes, I have even gone to see a bariatrician. Out of all of those diets, they all worked. <laughs> they all worked, and why did they all work? Because I committed to the, to, the, to the system, I committed to what the program told me to do, and I lost the weight. The problem that I had was that I would get to a certain weight, which was usually around 180, 170, and I would start feeling good about myself because I'm never going to be a skinny mini. It's just, it's just not in the cards for me. I'm, and I would, 
uh, start to relax. I'd be like, oh, you know, now that I'm feeling good about myself, I'm gonna eat this, I gotta eat that. And before you know it, I'm just starting to gain the weight back again. And it just, uh, I freak out when it comes time to maintain. And I'm not at that point right now, so that's fine. And maybe that's one of the reasons why I'm doing it so slowly and I like doing it so slowly is because even though I wanna lose the weight, I wanna lose it the right way. And I wanna do, I wanna do this in a way that is not such a shock to my system. I don't wanna go right into like exercising for an hour and, and limiting my calories to 1,000 or 1,300. I've done that before and yes, it works, but at the end of the day, when the diet is over with, I need to be able to do something that's gonna be realistic to my lifestyle. I need to be able to do something that I'm used, that I can continue to do. At some point, I will have to exercise more and I'm prepared for that, but, now that, but since I don't have to at this point, that's fine because if I reach a plateau, I can add exercise in instead of lowering my calories. If that doesn't work, then I'll exercise a little bit more or I, you know, I'll just do it just because I need to be more active. The 500 calorie days can be a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. I usually don't eat all day and then I have a dinner, which is about 350 calories, and then I'll have um, like a fruit, some kind of fruit with uh, maybe a little bit of Cool Whip, which is somewhere between 50 and 80, depending on what the you know what the dinner was. And then I'll usually have like a 100 calorie oatmeal because I and I kind of been doing that as a as a routine to kind of signal my body that this is the last meal you're getting, girl, and that's it. You're done. Don't expect anything else. There are days when I want more. Watching TV or seeing something and it's talking about great foods and stuff. It's like. I cannot wait until tomorrow. But then I wake up and guess what? I got a free day. I still keep track of my uh, calories. In this book, Dr. Verity says that you don't have to, and you could try that. I mean, you do whatever you want, but it just didn't work for me because I was tending to go a little too crazy. My husband and I want to go and have a restaurant meal or go f to fast food or go crazy and go to the mall and get the double doozy because I'm like a big sugar icing freak. I'm going to do it because that's my day to do what I want to do. And I do it. But <laughs> I do it with uh, the idea that, you know, that there is some certain limitations. But now, but I'm, I'm getting off track. One day it's rough, but the next day is fun. And then one day it's rough, and the next day is fun. It's some days when I have my feast day, sometimes I do go a little too crazy. And yeah, I stay within the 2,000 calories, but I just eat rich foods, and it just get too crazy. And it's kind of funny, because then some days after my feast day, I'm kind of like, oh, I can't wait until my diet day where I'm just going to kind of eat light and simplify and just feel a little bit better about myself. And, and that's, uh, that's another reason why I like to diet because it is allowing me to start to learn better habits and to listen to my body a little bit more, learn that maybe like cheese, sometimes I just too, it's just too strong, it's too heavy. There's just certain rich foods that I can't handle as much as I used to and, that, and I think that's great and I'm introducing more fruits and, and vegetables into my diet, cutting down on things, especially you know on, on the, the diet days, you have to really choose, pick and choose what you, what you eat. So we usually go for fruits and vegetables and meats that are not as high in calories. So we have more volume, but less calories, and that's, that's usually the way to go. My husband has also been on this diet and he started it in January as well and he was, I think he was tipping the scale at around 200 pounds and now he's right there on the cusp of about 179 to 180. He also exercises, he runs and it's interesting because even though he's doing the exercise and I'm not, our the way our weight fluctuates is still pretty similar. So whatever works for you, right? <laughs> Anyway, that's, uh, that's the diet. I, I kind of wish I had some feedback so I knew what people would like to know more about this diet. 
I could break this down a little bit more, but I feel like I might be breaking some kind of copyright laws if I if I quote too much from her book or anything like that. It, it's really good though. It talks about what you should do on your diet days, what you should do on your feast days. There's uh, she's got recipes in here for people, also people who have talked about the, the, the pounds that they've lost and why it works for them. And, and just a side note too, when I go into maintaining my, my diet, it will be somewhat similar to the way this is. I think you basically still do three days of fasting, but it's a thousand calories on those fasting days. And then it's so like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so then you can eat Tuesday and Thursday, and then you can also have the weekends to eat. And I probably won't still be able to go crazy, but I'm hoping at that point, I'm not really going to want to go crazy because my, my body has adjusted. There's so many people that have lost so much weight and they do it so quickly and I think, wow, that's just amazing, but I, I have lost weight quickly and I've, and I've gained it almost just as quickly and I, I just can't do that anymore. I'm rambling, but I want to be able to get this information out to you on how I'm dieting and uh, maybe in my next video I can do something like why I'm, why I'm dieting. So tell me what you think of my room and see if you like it. Uh, I worked on it all Saturday, my husband and I both. I put a little thumbnail right here showing you in fast motion some of the stuff that we did. I don't know if it's worth making a YouTube video on, on, uh, on the creation of this room. Uh, I'm guessing people probably will think it's a little too crazy, but I don't know, I just, I like it, you know, adventure of weights. Being in the 180s this, this week is, it's great. And, and uh, just all the work that I put into this room and continue to put into today. And well, I, I'm feeling the changes. I mean, I'm getting a little emotional here. I mean, I, I think all oh, 26 pounds, 28 pounds isn't a big deal, but it is a big deal because I don't feel like I'm lumbering anymore. I'm, <laughs> I feel better. And um, I had McDonald's today, oh, and I had a great time eating that McDonald's, let me tell you, a fat girl eating McDonald's, woo! But you know what? I'm not gonna be ashamed of it because I put in the work. On, the, on my fasting days, I put in the work, and it's, the results are happening, and they're gonna continue to happen, and I'm going to, I'm gonna share them, whether people stick around or not I'm gonna continue doing this and hopefully get better doing it in the process if you decide to stick around thank you and give me some dialogue to, to respond to as long as it's nice I don't I don't need to hear anything that's critical or mean just go away if that's that's what you want to do but otherwise if this speaks to you if there's anything I can do to to give you any help or suggestions I'm not an expert I just can give you what I've experienced and give you an idea of what maybe you can look forward to too. I hope you have a great evening and thanks for watching and enjoy your night. Bye.